That's right. Welcome to it. The What More Can I Say podcast, episode 109. I am your host, Tom Capone, along with my other co host Let's go ahead and get to him. She is the first lady of the pod, the only lady of the pod. She's probably a fine and has the longest intro for a podcast ever. <laughs> it is Kiki. What up? Hey, friends. How y'all feeling? What's up, Kiki? I'm good. I'm highly blessed and favored. There, we see you. We mm-hmm. see you. Mm-hmm. Kiki been letting the been letting the cleavage y'all lately, Jack. What? You know what I? You know what oh, I said? Wow. Where? You know what I said to Kiki? What? I was like. I was like, damn, Kiki, you, like, you got a mouth, don't you? She was like, shut up. Don't act like you ain't never seen none of these before. I'm just saying, like, like I tried to give a little razzle-dazzle down to the holiday Christmas party, and you know you did. lost his mind. Yeah, yo, when you go somewhere with your big brothers and they just can't let you live, damn, I might be trying to snatch something here. I don't know. I, I, he didn't blew my spot up. I saw one of the sales dudes. <laughs> he was like, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, my God. Well, I, let me put this jacket up today. <laughs> Look, mm-hmm. my fam, you got a little mm-hmm. love. Sorry about that. The people that might want to rub one out while watching the pod. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, my oh, God. God. Zach, what's up? The funny man in the oh, Hey, man, what's listen, good, man. Buddy? How was the holiday party? I missed it, y'all. I was out of town. It was nice. Y'all had a good time? We did. That's they good. had gyros there. I was happy. Man. Damn, they had good food, huh? Yeah, the yeah, gyros were fire. Bro. It was good. The pasta was good, too. Damn. Yeah. It was. Mm-hmm. It, it, we got to go back. One thing they do is always have some good food. Though. Oh, yeah. You got to say yeah. that. Matt right? throw a good party. He throw a good party. Mm-hmm. And the, uh, the drinks were open bar, of course, Oh, right? yes. Oh, yes. yeah. All night. Oh, All night. High mm-hmm. shelf. Top shelf. Mm-hmm. Top shelf. Like, Ooh. no, it didn't stop. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm talking like, it's not, you know how you have open bars? They're like, yo, you got to get in between six and eight. Yeah. No, nah, this went to the, from the whole party from six From the beginning, to like to a ten. reception. Oh, baby, yes. Now, <laughs> here's the question. Last year, they didn't have cognac. Oh, they had, oh, they had cognac. <laughs> they had cognac, baby. The dark liquor was flowing. To, yes, it was great. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm they, sorry Because they knew it. they messed up. And I told them, I told them, I said, hey, that's a little racist. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Bill was standing there. He was a little stressed out. He turned you red. Are an idiot. I said, Bill, that's a little racist not to have cognac. You knew GCI V103 was going to be here. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, the views of Zach Wood that's are a, not that a, of the pot. Okay. No, I don't think it, he's racist. I think that's a racist no, move I to know. forget. Cognac. Yeah. Can't forget it. Well, it was there this year. It, it was, was there. there. Mm-hmm. All right, let's jump into the pod, man. Uh, a lot of stuff happening. Did we just go to the Meg Thee Stallion thing first? Man, the wow. pod fam want to talk about They was hitting me up last night like, y'all ass need to get on Zoom again because they wanted it last <laughs> night. They was like, they was like, we got to talk right now. So, yes. Please. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead. Let's get right to this. Let's jump into it. We saw it. Meg, Tori hasn't taken a stand. We got Kelsey. I think that by the time the pod, you see this, Tory will probably have hit the stand if mm-hmm. that's the case. Is he on hitting it today? Uh, he might be hitting it today. Yeah, I think today is the day where today it all is goes the day. down. Oh. Mm-hmm. Today is the day. Yeah. So let's talk about what we know at this point. We all know that Kelsey found out basically at the same time that, well, basically Kelsey found out that Meg had messed with Tory Lanez too. That's what kind of blew everything up. What's your take on this, Zach Bull, this whole thing? This is a wild situation. You know what I'm saying? It's so many layers. Okay, we all know that Meg, we found out that Meg lied about uh, having sex with Tory Lane mm-hmm. on the Good Morning America interview. <laughs> I knew that Meg was lying on that. <laughs> we all did. But I respected the lie because I feel like Meg was lying because she was in a new relationship. And she may have, you know, might have been talking around that same time before mm-hmm. they went public. It, those times might have overlapped. And she might have already lied to her dude. Right. That's my thinking. She already probably lied. Now I can't go on here in Good Morning America before the trial, all this stuff come out. Yeah, nope. Mm-hmm. Didn't happen. Mm-hmm. Respect a lot. Respect a lot. Okay. Yeah. Meg's partners is just like the song that she put out. What's that? Body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. She got bodies. P- oh, Meg oh. got bodies. Ben Simmons, the baby, uh, all Tory alleged. Lanes. It's alleged. It's all a leg. What's wrong with that, though? Nothing. Okay. Nothing, it's nothing wrong with nothing it, wrong with like, it yo, again. It, nothing wrong with it again. The only fault that I see in Megan yeah. right now, uh-huh. not having sex with people, you can do what you want to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Only fault I see is she's a bad friend. Okay. Because she's is. having sex That's with it. her friends. Uh, guys, That's the that was the issue. Being Keneve and going behind back. It's and a lot of it's a lot right. of dudes you can hit. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of short dudes. Meg, you like short dudes? <laughs> We, I'm he- here. We know a guy. We know. I, I know a guy personally. <laughs> Five seven, just like you like him. You know what I'm saying? Dark skin. Why is he like 
like Just this. like you like them. You know yes, what I'm saying? Yes. Tell them. I got good teeth. Tell them, big boy. Benefits. Mm-hmm. That's it. What else do you need? You got the money? We can go somewhere. Have a good time. And guess what? Kelsey wouldn't even have to be mad. I'm a, I don't even have to look at Kelsey in the face. That, if I was right. dating Meg the Stallion, I'd pull up old Kelsey. Hey, how you doing? Head down. <laughs> yeah. Humble. Humble. You hear me? Because you can't yes. look Kelsey in the eye because she's fine. Because Kelsey too fine to be staring at. Yeah. Can't stay at Kelsey too long. Kelsey, so fine. that's the only fault I see. Now let's go to Kelsey. Kelsey, I don't know what the hell she doing. Oh, Kelsey is up there. <laughs> yes, she started off telling the truth for the first testimony, seemed very truthful. Then she's flipped it and forgot everything she just said mm-hmm. in the same day. Yeah, Kelsey, did you go on that break and get a text message? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, doing a little too much. <laughs> she look too much dip on your chip. That's how she looked at Tim and she said she got in that mug and got amnesia. I don't know. I'm tired. She, everything was going crazy. Yeah, she. So it looks ooh. like, did Meg, they asked her, they said, did Meg, did you pay, a, did Tory pay for your lawyer? Offer to pay for your lawyer. Yes. <laughs> did he pay for it? Oh, I don't no. know. <laughs> what that was the part for me. Ooh. What the hell are you talking about, Kelsey? Yes. Uh, it's wild. So that's all I got for it, man, right now. All right, we, let's I gotta get see to Tori it. though. Let's hear uh, Kiki. Yes. Um, interesting. Uh, Z- I love Zach Boog's take, but you let, let's start with this one. I want to go from the bad friend part. Okay. Kiki. This is a, that, it looks like Meg is being a bad friend. Is she gets a case of her karma. What you think? I mean, she was definitely being a bad friend. You Megan the Stallion, <laughs> so you already got the choice of the litter when we walk into the club. You know what I'm saying? And that's why when you the bad friend, when you the most popping friend, know your role. When I walk in this room, I know that I can choose anybody in here that I want. Come on now. And I'm gonna leave whoever I don't want for my girls. Never will you catch me going back and, and smashing one of the dudes I let I put on one of my girls. Like that was totally. Lame. It's not a player move, Megan Thee Stallion. That was not hot girl stuff like that. That was not, that wasn't given what it was supposed to give. Right. So I definitely don't agree with how she did that. Like, you can't be that thirsty. Tory Lanez? Ben Simmons, uh, you know, NBA player. So I get, Tory Lanez though? <laughs> Like Tory Lanez, you got big. That man Kiki would have. Yeah, yeah. Oops, I would have did that one. Yeah, yeah, that one I might have. I might have slipped and slipped and fell. But Tory Lanez, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, you got big fan ass partisan at home. You, cl- girl. Now it's a lot. Like Zach said, it's a lot of little men out here that you could have went to. I wouldn't have gave it to Tory Lanez. I'm and you sorry. know one, Kiki. I do. I would have. You know, she could have came on over here to Big Book. I just wouldn't have gave it <laughs> Big to Book? Tory Lanez. Whoa, that's so a new one. I, I'm not calling you that. <laughs> you, you definitely should call me Big Book. I, I, I would. I would appreciate it. Nah, if you did. Definitely not. I would. I would. Out of no. respect. Out of respect. <laughs> I respect. Bro. Out of respect. Bro. <laughs> I respect. <bro. laughs> you know, goddamn Big Book. That that would be hilarious. But my thing is, guys, if I'm Kelsey, right, I... You know, I take my hat off to Kelsey. Because really what Kelsey did is, you 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 coming up in all areas of this situation. You know mm. what I'm saying? You got immunity or whatever it's called, so you're not going to jail. So, you know, you're not going to jail for shooting somebody. But your ass might go to jail for lying on the stand. Now, you, you really left, you really went all the way, the, the wrong way when you talking about some, you don't know who paid for your lawyer. So that was crazy. <laughs> like, that was wild. But other than that, girl, you playing the game great. She got on the stand. She told Meg Thee Stallion, I'm here to defend you, sis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Tori texts her with that bag. She's like, I got you, I got you. <laughs> so as soon as they start asking her all the questions she needs to defend Megan Thee Stallion, Kelsey was like, I don't remember. P.O.P. <laughs> hold it down. I'm legally blind. You know what I'm saying? Like, Kelsey, girl, get your money. Get your money because your friend did you dirty and Tori Lane's ain't for nobody. That's what I got to say. Oh, my God. Mine's <laughs> very easy. Kelsey is the biggest winner of the whole thing. Kelsey got money from Meg Thee Stallion. <laughs> Kelsey got money from Tory Lanez. And she got up there. All she wanted to do was find out, can I go to jail? <laughs> no? <laughs> Bet. I'm about to lie this whole time to yes. everybody. When you tell somebody, I don't know, yes. that you know you lying. That's the... That's the one right there. Yes. You know how many times I got caught up with women? <laughs> like, hey, Tony, you... Do you know her? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, like Ooh. I don't know is nuts to say on the court well, stage. I don't remember. It's crazy. It's, it's crazy. 
That's one of the craziest things you could ever say in front of a judge. Especially not to oh, know no. who paid, who's for paying lawyer. for your defense. <laughs> yes, but but you, you know literally what? have legal defense in here, and you have no clue no. how they get paid. <laughs> Folks showed up. <laughs> That's why I'm like, <laughs> she she need to go <laughs> now. You know, you need to go to jail for that, Kelsey. You do need to serve about a week for <laughs> lying, playing with that judge like that. Man. But you can't you can't defend if I say I don't remember. There's no way to prove whether or not. I remember. So she actually smart. She is smart because they they did because we it's proven fact that they were drinking. They were all all drinking. But to say you don't remember who paid for your lawyer is wild. That is that's wild. That's not when you was drunk. Nah. That's literally bitch who paying for the lawyer right now. Right now. But yeah. if she but if I say I don't remember, you cannot prove if I remember or not. That's so, crazy. Hey, that's that's the craziest. <laughs> she got to walk in court tomorrow shaking. But she walked in today with a with an afro. I said, well, why you what? Now, why would you put an Afro wig on today? What is that supposed to mean? She got an Afro wig she on? She put an Afro wig <laughs> on today. Yes. Kelsey, girl. Yes. I yeah. am not in my right mind. <laughs> Clearly. Dismiss me as a witness. Oh, yes. this is this is hilarious, man. Also, speaking of court cases, uh, we saw Gunner get out of jail. Plea deal on a Rico case. He got time served. He walked away. Hold on. Good. Tom, before we go, everything okay. we said to, about the case is alleged. Those are just our thoughts and opinions. Yes. I don't remember. I'm like Kelsey. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't remember. Alleged. Alleged. It's all of our thoughts that. and opinions, which yes. we're allowed to have. Now, we're allowed to have thoughts and opinions on Gunner. Uh, Zach Book, I know you followed this because when this broke, you was all over. What's going on with Gunner and getting out of jail, man, on a plea deal? Did he rat? First, shout out to YSL. You know what I'm saying? Thugger. Oh. Uh, Gunna, oh, okay. the whole like squad. somebody scared. You know right. what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Just want to throw that out there. Um, this is crazy. Mm. Okay. Woo! I bro, I saw the story last night. Okay. I talked about it on air. And before the video came out, there was a statement out that said, I have not cooperated with the police. Basically, Gunna put out a long statement basically saying, I have done no cooperation. Basically mm-hmm. saying he didn't snitch. So I got on the air yesterday, last night. And said, yeah, he out, but he ain't snitched. This is, see? And this is my proof. I read the statement. Woo! Woke up this morning. There's a video of him talking to the judge. Saying, yes, ma'am. Asking him, is, is, why, is, is YSL a criminal organization? Yes, ma'am. No. Were you caught in, yeah, this is on video right now. Were you, were you in the car with Jeffrey Act, with Jeffrey, you know, that's uh, Young Thug. Real name. Real name. It is? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jeffrey. I know who Jeffrey was. Yeah, that's that's Young Thug. Okay. So he was like, yeah, uh, you in the car with Jeffrey, with lean, guns, and drugs, were those not yours? Yes, ma'am, they weren't mine. So basically, you just said all that shit was Young Thugs. You, you said YSL's a criminal organization, all on camera. Oh, yeah. Now? I am not, this is where I get out of my jurisdiction. I do not know, because <laughs> I, I am not a street not dude. Jurisdiction. I am not a street dude. I do not claim to be a street dude. Actually, <laughs> I f- actually find peace in the fact that I'm not a street dude. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I actually like the fact that I can walk around regular. I don't know how the streets are going to respond to somebody talking to a judge right in front of them talking like that. Yeah. That's up to the streets to decide if that's considered snitching. I think it looks like snitching to me, but like I said, I'm not street. I've never, I ain't never had no charges. Where I had, <laughs> I have been in a holding cell one time. I had, I did have one felony charge for evading arrest a long time ago, but that was some BS. Mm. <laughs> Whoa, uh, that's interesting. Will you so see that's this kid, Key? Is it snitching? Is young, is gonna gonna be able to come back from this video Absolutely. because because we were like, yo, it's gonna be a while. Uh, for me, Gunna, now I told you to tell a long time ago. So I'm not going to get up here and switch on your friend. I told you you should have been telling. Because if it was me, they I would have been telling on the ride to the to the precinct. Like, on the bus. Yeah, I'm like, what do y'all want from me? I got all the names, dates, places, times, everything. I would have told a long time ago. So really, you know, I commend him for spending a little. What has been? It's been almost a few about, months. Almost a year. Yeah, in jail. You know, while his song on the radio, he was dating <laughs> Chloe Bailey. It's a lot out here for him to do. And he's sitting behind a cell for some stuff he probably didn't really do. So... Gonna, I would have told a long time ago, friend. Now, to the hip hop world, to y'all, they think it's, you know, you're snitching and you're wrong and da da da. T- baby, you got one life to live. And if you think I'm finna sit in jail behind something <laughs> I did, a crime I did not commit, I'm not sitting in jail behind a crime I did commit. I'm telling <laughs> I'm blaming that on somebody else too. So That's to me, crazy. he good in my book. 
you did your big one. Okay, now I don't know how this video got out, but baby, you better go. Oh, they got to HD. Get it's... you a haircut and get some glasses. Some start dressing up like Zach Book, cause they gonna be on your ass. <laughs> now, Thugger gonna have somebody on your ass, but uh, you know. <laughs> What the? Uh, <clears throat> my take is this. You think he snitched? I, I think it looks like snitching, but I also think I just one. We all know Gunner was is an artist. We know mm-hmm. that he's not the gangster. We all everybody agreed, and me and Zach said this before before the pod. Any man that could wear a dress, fingernail polish, call other men Bay, and nobody ever try. ever talk crazy to him is a gangster. Yeah. And everybody's scared of. Like, <laughs> it's just a fact. Young Thug had a wedding dress on, a short skirt. He's coming up with some BB, with a BB outfit. That's true. With a room full of killers. And everybody be like, what up, Thug? What's that's happening, true. <laughs> That's true. What's I, up, I, I, my I, guy? That's the ultimate respect. Yeah. I've, I've never seen nothing I like that. I never understood Painted it. Painted yeah. nails. And commenting on their pictures, Comment, calling them babe. Leaving calling them. Leaving kissy uh, yeah. emojis. Well, mm-hmm. nobody say, ain't nobody stepped to him. That's ain't true. Ain't nobody said nothing. <laughs> ain't nobody said a thing to Thug. So my thing is this. Knowing that, just means knowing that well Young respected. Thug is a thug mm-hmm. and gunning him are tight. Yes. I think he gave him permission to do it. And if yeah. the streets gets out, if the streets get out, like Thug probably looked at it, it this is what I would think. Mm-hmm. Thug looked at it like, yo, man, they got me. Mm-hmm. They might got me, bro. They might got me. And I ain't gonna let my mans, because everybody says Young Thug is a solid dude, though. Mm-hmm. Every, no, everybody's already said he's solid. Mm-hmm. Like, man, I got my man sitting in here with me. He probably gonna make sure Thug straight while he out, mm-hmm. putting money on his books. Make it, he probably like, <clears throat> go ahead, bro. Go ahead, take this plea deal, and go ahead and go home. Mm-hmm. I really I, think that's I, I, I think that's the case. That might be yeah. the, I think that might really be I, it. I, I think I, I think, think, think that's the case. Out. Cause yeah. I just don't think Gunner, cause Gunner know he got to move around. Mm-hmm. And the streets gonna know they going <clears throat> man, my boy's gonna go crazy. The streets gonna know if Thug gave him permission to do it. But I, that's why I said I, I wanna he hear did. from Thug. However Thug take it. That's how we know what really happened. If Thug is cool, that means it was like, hey, get out. Yeah. You need to get out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You ain't you I mean, ain't it's that. No point, it's no point in both of us money makers sitting in here. Somebody uh, got to get out and make the money, make the, make the, the thing. thing. And you, like you said, you're not really, uh, he's an artist. Yeah. Gunner's yeah. an artist. Yeah. You know, Gunner, Gunner not going to be do well in jail. Mm. Thug is going to do well in jail. He's not going to have a problem in jail. He's yeah. not going to have an issue in jail. Nobody's going to bother him. I'm not but, saying they would have bothered him. don't say it like jail is just, you making it sound like jail is just nice for them. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's, it's not. <laughs> they ain't going to have a problem. They ain't going to have a nice place. I don't know. Nah, nah, but, I mean, but, just dropped the whole see, album from jail. So no, he didn't. I don't know what. Young Thug might be living a life up in jail. I don't know. I don't know what's Art going Kelly on in them not, jails. Them songs older than us. Man, look. They did. Now, look. Now, I've never said this, and I'm going to talk about this on the show. I've never said conspiracy as it pertains to R. Kelly. Uh-huh. But I got to a little bit now. I feel it feel a little conspiracy-ish. Like somebody set him up and somebody put those songs like he, out. All of a sudden he getting straight. Some of the charges are going away. Then all this album come out. I admit then, it. I admit <laughs> it is nuts. Did y'all it, listen though? It, yes. I okay. Did. For, right. the, for the six hours it was up. We know you what? did. <laughs> you definitely listened you to it stopped. twice. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Pod, man. Look at me. R. Kelly has not missed a beat in Kiki's rotation no. since the trial. Ever. He is lying. Ever. Is she lying. she ain't never missed a beat. Just look, go back and look at her reels. You can hear the R. Kelly in the background. <laughs> See, I know. He is lying. She, she, uh, she's so mad she can't really publicly put it I out. Know she can't. No. She's so mad. But <laughs> definitely. She ain't denied it. When that R. Kelly album dropped, she's she like, like yes. I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Like, <laughs> but look, this is another thing where it's a conspiracy. <gasps> An album comes out, uh-huh. I admit it. Now, you know what I saw today? The final chapter, the final chapters of Surviving R. Kelly. What? What are we doing? Are There's they bringing a, a new one out? They, yeah, it's about to be a no, new one. Surviving conspiracy. R. Kelly, the final chapters. What? Hey. That's That's... That they, doesn't feel a little they gotta make sure he stay locked up. <laughs> that's always that. That's that's they gotta conspiracy. make sure he stay where he belongs. And then when I looked at the record label that put it out, I ain't never heard a legacy record. That's why I thought it was him. <laughs> when I saw, I said, "Who put this out?" I looked, it said legacy records. I said, "Maybe it was R. Kelly." That's what I said. Legacy records. Who is it? And then I listened to the songs. I said, These songs old as hell. They had old ass references. 
He was like, yeah, just hit me on the two-way. I said, hold on now. <laughs> Track number four said, hit me on the two-way. <laughs> These songs, oh, <laughs> you're not going to get me. <laughs> Came up throwbacks. Oh, like oh, throwbacks. <laughs> you so you was doing some extensive research huh i'm listening to that stuff and mm-hmm. I, saw, I know mm-hmm. i admit it came out in 2018 yeah, and they chopped it up made it three songs this ain't r kelly man yeah. stop, stop <sighs> that R. They all wild. these classic <sighs> albums you think you're gonna put out some boot bs like that they wild man uh, <laughs> they are wild <laughs> in the club throwbacks <laughs> in the club with a throwback said, hold on wait a minute count and the fresh oh button God. down. I said, that this <laughs> is 2007. Oh, my God. This man, I, I wouldn't know y'all. I didn't hear the album. God, I wouldn't know. Yeah, you didn't hear the album I, my ass. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, exactly. That's the new one. Anytime, I don't remember. Now, I know everybody remembers when Young Miami scrubbed Diddy off the page. Oh, like, we were like, yes. oh, what happened? What's going on? Now we find out my brother got a new baby. Uh, uh, uh. Love Combs is in the world. Shout out to Diddy. Congratulations to him on that Congratulations, one. Congratulations, Diddy. For, for a guy that I know that's that age, I laugh at that because I know you signed up for a fresh 18. Like, damn, Diddy, a fresh 18 right now? That's hmm. tough. Well, we know young Miami <laughs> was feeling some type of way about this situation. We had academics saying some stuff. Kiki, what do you think? I mean... It's okay. Whew, it's so many things. Go ahead. Diddy is very wild to me because the, anytime a man publicly welcome a baby into the world and don't mention the mother, the person that actually pushed the baby oh. out, like that's oh. wild. That's mad, toxic, wild to me. Like that's another oh. level. How do you say? That's like nasty. he act like he gave birth. <laughs> like literally, he get, he thanked his mama, his other kids, and that's Damn. it. Like I didn't think about like that. this baby yeah. just fell out the sky. Damn, you couldn't even say thank you for Ooh. a safe delivery. Mm. So I thought that was that was red flag number one. And I love Diddy. Y'all know that. Number two, um, if I'm Carisha, I wouldn't have said a thing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have said a word. I'm so I disappointed agree. in her. And I feel like the City Girls is down. Like, we down points now. Because you arguing with one of the side, the, the eaters, as you call them. When you arguing with one of them. And for what? We don't know that lady. We ain't never seen that lady before, so we don't care about her. You, Carisha, you young Miami, you hot, you fine, you living your life, you messing with Diddy. We don't expect Diddy to be faithful. We don't expect you to be faithful to Diddy. So what you should have done we is do. sat back like a city girl and <laughs> ate this up and let this let this ride. You know what I'm saying? He already got kids. We would have just thought it was another kid. We wouldn't have, you know, it wouldn't have been a big thing if if she did not react to the news. And I just wish she would not have given these people no satisfaction mm-hmm. to even react. I would have kept it player. And sat back and enjoyed the fruits of my labor with Diddy. You pod, you pod, Kiki. But you know, Kiki, I agree. you are pod. You are pod. I'm just saying. We, Zach, that was nothing but truth. <laughs> Will you see it? Will you see it though, Zach? You like, yo, you see academics saying stuff. Sure. Cause I, I, cause I didn't broke it all the way down in the player situation. I didn't. Well, I'm gonna let you do the player handbook. Okay. You can bring out the player handbook on this. Okay. And and, and let us know what's going on. But I, I hold on. oh, but I wanna, I just wanna. This is all I have is a PSA. Our mm. situation. PSA for all older men trying to date these young girls. Oh, God. <laughs> Just want to let you know. What is the PSA? Just to let you know. PSA, all older brothers trying to get you a woman 20, 30 years younger with you. This come with it. This come okay, with it. Yes. Diddy ain't never been on Twitter talking about his relationship. That's true. He started messing with that young girl, trying to take that young girl serious. Uh-uh. You got to say something on Instagram. Yeah, he's like, hold up. Wait a minute. I sent you the flowers, bitch. What you mean? <laughs> now, I don't do that. That's oh, a fact. Oh, I'm an old man. That's now, I'm, 55, I'm 53 years old. I'm not going to be on Instagram telling my bitch. No, yeah, you got to da-da-da-da. Now he out here. On Instagram. And I am. Miami is not my side chick. Looking yes. slow. Yes. It's not my side chick. I love my shawty wop. Old man selfie. Yes. <laughs> Old yes. man yes. Close to the yes. face. <laughs> what yes. are you doing? Mm-hmm. He's saving Diddy. that prime premium he for is, JJ. He is doing everything he can to make, because young, young Miami is bringing the mother effing pain. 
And she also bringing a look like did no, you know, Diddy is reinventing himself again. He's a master at doing it, and Carisha is a big part of that. Yes, yeah, you know is what I'm the saying. Main the, part yeah, of it. the young girls is now now we looking at Diddy again. You know what I'm saying because of her. So he's not trying to mess up his investment either. That's, he's definitely. Oh, I didn't not. think about that. Yeah, that, that's, that's what he what used Young is. Miami this to the rebrand. Yeah. It's part of his rebrand. He got a new song out now. Yeah, it I was mean, part of the rebrand package. I mean, I get it. I get it. But my my thing is this: is the whole thing is was 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 nuts from the beginning. Academics put itself in the middle of it. I was like, I look when I saw it. I was like, I laughed at Diddy because that's what older dudes do. We laugh at when another old dude gets a fresh mm-hmm. eighteen. Mm-hmm. We laugh. <laughs> not, not like it's well, not like, not like we like. Damn, he signed a boy eighteen. He got grown kids. It's funny. Yeah, but we're not like not in a bad way because I don't want the Diddy smoke. But still, <laughs> then you look at it from this aspect. Academics. That's how I know a- academics doesn't have chicks or never have really been a player. You know what I mean? It's just, I'm going to keep oh it a buck gosh. because a player going to look at this and be like, yo, bro, I'm not going to say nothing to young Miami. <laughs> Even if you're a blogger and you got to say something, mm-hmm. you got to say something, you could say, man, I wonder how young Miami's going to take this or this is going to, I bet you young Miami's mad or something. But don't call young Miami, here it goes again, do not call somebody chick a side chick. That set the whole thing off. Now yeah. she mad as hell. He got to put a text out, and I, I, I had to get Diddy his credit. That was probably one of the most gangster little tweets I've ever seen. He's like, "Look, also, I'm gonna come to your house, and we could talk about it like human beings." And now we got the then now, said love, aka that mean I'm gonna come to your house and, and, and beat your, your ass and pull up on you. Now, now you That's got DJ crazy. Academics admits he was wrong about the D- <laughs> Diddy, uh, wrong about that after Diddy DM'd him over the Young Miami comments, which is. Real, because Diddy like being Miami. That's why academics is there. He going like, bro, don't do that. Mm-hmm. And the, here's the thing about Diddy. He run Miami. If Diddy can find out where academics stay, he can pull up on academics and nobody will stop him. Nobody's going to touch Diddy. Yeah, I mean, Diddy's been known to smack, to smack people. people a few times. He will smack the hell out of you. Yeah. This is, that, 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 and, I, and I think academics is good for the culture in a sense because he does, except for the I want to fight little baby them. That's not smart for your health. That's not smart and messing with it. It's not Don't smart. Mess with them, yeah, that was dumb. But I do tell you, I, if I was academics, I would feel a little bit accomplished. Like my voice matters this much that I that Diddy is responding. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's kind of like when Lil Bow Wow went off on me and our comments on the on yeah, the pod. We felt good. I felt like damn, like okay, so I got Lil Bow Wow listening. You know what I'm saying. So academics, he got a reaction from Diddy. You just got to be careful with that though, because they will, you know. Diddy That's will Bow Wow. Your ass. That's Bow Wow, Kiki. I'm, Not Lil Baby and Diddy. <laughs> <I'm just> saying, <laughs> That's the difference. Once I start getting a reaction from them, I'm like, damn, okay, my little voice matters. So if I was like Demons, I'd be like, damn, all this little time I'm putting in in the basement on the video game or whatever, it's paying <laughs> off. You know, it's somebody listening. Not so. in the basement. But just be careful, friend. You got to get you some security or something. No, I, that, <laughs> that, that's going to smack you upside the head. Be that's a ass. dangerous game, brother. There ain't nothing you should play with. Uh, uh, lastly, man, this is one of the wildest things ever. Uh, Glorilla talks about the nastiest thing she's done. Talks about she want a man, her man, to put a little man juice on her fries before eating it. And, like, first of all, the dude that does that is nuts. Mm. <laughs> You're a wild dude. Like, has there ever been some time in your life, Zach, we'll go save Kiki okay. for last, all right. where a woman has asked <laughs> you to do something super nasty? Yep. Like, super nasty oh, yeah. way you made it uncomfortable. It was nasty. Let like, me tell you something. You're not going to tell us what tell it is? It's kinda, nope. Why? Go, hey, you must have did it. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. It's not, I don't remember. I don't know. I, I don't remember. All I know is I was against it. I hate you. I don't remember. You That's was that. against it? So That's you didn't do it? I don't remember. <laughs> oh, my God. Sex toys has been, then that's my, like. I've done that. That's, that I don't like You that. think that's nasty? Yeah, I don't want. You talking about using them or like. Me, uh, hold on, now we got to be specific because now people go, I don't want people to think. Yeah, what, what, yeah, yeah. what now, you into? You talking about using a sex toy on a woman while sleeping with her. Yeah, like, not like that's not, normal. Not, oh, no, no, like, I'm not doing nothing to her but the sex toys to her. That's, that's, a, that, that's freaky to me. That's freaky to you? <laughs> no. bro, that's, let me tell you, bro, that's standard package. 
<laughs> that's I a don't, standard package. What are you talking about? I don't want nobody bringing out no tools. I got the only tool we need. I got the hammer. Oh, baby. We gonna, come on, baby. Tell him it's a little I'm coming in here with the hammer. Yes, and we're going to so, make it happen. Tell him. Girl, you we bring the hammer. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him be like, that. what is all this shit in here? No, I don't want nothing. I don't want none of that. Oh, so old school. Yeah. Hey, wait, wait, hey, baby, yeah. what's this? What is this? I'm not. I got the hammer. <laughs> Why we need that? Hey, yo, I done brought the hammer to the party. But let me tell you something, oh, bro. These new girls got these roses. They got all types of stuff, brother. You use yes. it. You got to use the sex toys like a commercial break. Nah. No, when you get a little tired. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want no massage oil. I don't want none of that. You got to use it like halftime, baby. You got to use it like a timeout Tom, and come Tom back. Tom don't want no lingerie. He wants, you in your, he wants you in your nightgown and your body, baby. Just come on. Pull this, look, pull this shirt up. Come on. That's <laughs> right. Tom don't want no extra nothing. Oh, no. my God. He said, yo, go and get out that shower and come in here with that gown, with that gown on. You know what I mean? But for me, freakiest. The freakiest having sex in the shower is the Oh, That's man. freaky to me. Oh, <laughs> say it. Oh my god! I, I, I am dead. I, I ain't gonna lie. Oh. A nice nightgown on a woman is coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, yo, that boy laying right. Oh my god! <laughs> sit right in the crack. Right? Sit it's right there. Right. You'll be like, whoa, you got that, got yeah. that bite. Oh god, oh you got some god. bite in that gown, girl. <laughs> 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 Yes. Oh, oh, man. Oh, okay. All right, guys. That's uh, it, man. I'm done with y'all. That's it, man. Final I'm thoughts. Honey. Final thoughts. Final thoughts. Rada Let's get to go. it. Kiki, what up? Um, Shout out to the pie fam. We, we, we delivered. Y'all was not playing with us about this Meg and Tori thing. And I hope we, we gave y'all some insight. Or if not, we, we don't remember. But I love y'all. Please share the pie with somebody. That's all I got. There it is. Zach Book. Final thoughts, my brother. Man, love y'all, man. I'm tired. Y'all, y'all <laughs> hurt me. I am done. Pot over. Ladies, put your nightgowns on. Okay? Right. Stop wasting time with all that lingerie, stockings, all that. You know, I put like your nightgowns. I like a little lingerie. I'm yeah. going to tell you. Mm -mm. Lingerie is cool. Body stockings are better. Look them up, ladies. I'm helping y'all out. You gorgeous body stocking, bro. Body I'm telling you. Remember we talked about <laughs> what is body stocking? Some shit Google they it. only sell at uh, what's that old lady the lingerie store? It ain't no old lady <laughs> store. What is it called? <laughs> it's what is it called? Hey, Heavenly look. bodies. So, like what are you doing? A little bit of Taylor. Taylor, yeah, some shit you gotta like, order out the little book. Out <laughs> the J C Penny book. <laughs> that little book. That little book is fucked up. Oh, <laughs> so man, Hold on, hey man, I ain't got no y'all so thoughts. Much. I'm getting out of here, man. Hey, appreciate y'all. Share the pod. Oh, Hey, look, before you knock whatever I said, hey, try it before you knock it. <laughs> hey, hey, you know what it is. What more can we say? <laughs>